tell anybody. She's killing my profession. <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is Roberta Hosky, a.k.a. Miss Millionaire Mindset. And welcome, welcome to Miss Millionaire Mindset Women of the Month. I am so excited about this platform where we represent and we just acknowledge and support the ladies and the women um, who are living out their dreams. And as you know, my acronym for DREAM is Divinely Revealed Event, Awaiting Manifestation. But the women of the month, they're not just awaiting, they're manifesting. And today we have a powerful sister, Damara Altman, with us today. Uh, she is not able to be with us via webcam, but we do have her on the phone. And um, welcome, Damara, and uh, congratulations for being spotlighted as Miss Millionaire Mindset Women of the Month. How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much. It's such an honor. I appreciate it. And I love this oh. platform, what you're doing. I think it's incredible. Great, great. Listen, I think you're incredible. That's why you're here. <laughs> so, you know, let's talk a little bit about uh, you. Um, you know, tell us a little bit about um, who you are and uh, what makes you this person who uh, lives out her dreams. Because, as you know, many of us have these dreams, but we never manifest them. What is it that uh, makes you different? Why have you gone after your dreams and being relentless? Tell me about that. Um, well, I don't give myself the option not to, and I have um, a support system, my family, who doesn't give mm -hmm. me that option either. Um, I just Everything that I do, I'm inspired by my family and my faith, and I know what the word says, what I'm supposed to be, so I look at it as I don't have the choice not to be that. Mhm. Mm and so what what I you know, I'm a I'm a woman of faith as well, so you know you have to elaborate mm -hmm. a little bit when you start talking about you know what the word says about you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't let that one fly. Please share. No way. I'm more than a conqueror. I can do anything mm. through Christ who strengthens me. You know? That's I, I live by I live by those things daily, so yeah. I don't give myself the option or the opportunity to um, slip up. And you know we have those moments where we do, but you have to be able to pull yourself back up again. So absolutely, um, you know I was reading your bio and I was amazed to see that you started sewing at seven. I seven? did, yes. Uh, I was playing with <laughs> um, baby now. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing with him too. I was just sewing on the side as well. Um, yeah, my best friend had passed away, which was my grandmother, and my mom was trying to find some sort of outlet for me, and fashion was something that I always loved, and um, so she just sent me to start taking sewing lessons, and it just stuck, and I've been doing that ever since. Mm. So tell me a little bit about Embellish. You have you have your website, um, em Embellish by Damara. Yep. Com. Tell me about it and make sure, correct me if I'm wrong with the website. No, it's Embellish by Damara, which is the home of all of my companies. Um, it's the the place where you know everything that I do from fashion to beauty to business, everything lives under that umbrella. And one of our missions is to um, help other women and empower them through business. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's it's just it's the home of everything. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I too am I'm an entrepreneur. I call myself a serial entrepreneur. And I know as you're going after your dreams and going after these visions that you have that sometimes we run into obstacles. What do you do? Uh, uh, I know you have to have obstacles, but what have you done Absolutely. when you run into obstacles? Please share. Um, I think what's important is to first acknowledge the fact that you've hit one instead of, I think as women, especially black women, we are super women. But I think it's important to acknowledge the fact that, you know, okay, here's something in front of me that is trying to block me or hinder me from going forward. Now, what is it that, what is it that I can do to to move it or to climb over it? Um, 
for me, I remind myself of who I am. I remind myself of the things that my family has gone through and has, you know, risen above. So that's kind of how I handle, like, the trials and tribulations of both personal and professional life. Mm. So, you know, what made you want to become an entrepreneur as opposed to just going and get a job like everyone else? Um, you know, I was go I went to school. Um, I was the, the intention was for me to go to school to be a doctor and I was gonna study mm-hmm. psychology. But I think what my parents kind of forgot and you know, they were all for it, of course, you know, you're going to school to be a doctor, but I think what they forgot was that they also taught me to follow my heart and to follow my passion and be passionate about what I do. And that wasn't something that I was passionate about. I was passionate about fashion and beauty and business and those things. So, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> so it was a matter of, like, being in tune with what your passions are, right? Yeah, that's absolutely. Wow, absolutely. that's great. I think we have to listen to ourselves more. I think we ignore it, ignore, you know, the signs or, you know, you know, I've, I I was in a, a marriage um, uh, a couple years ago, and I remember being told constantly that I was a dreamer, and I took that negatively. And then I had to think about it, and I was like, yes, I am a dreamer, and I'm going to manifest those dreams as well. So <laughs> That's I my girl. Just... That's... Yes. <laughs> yes, I love I it. Think it's just... <laughs> I think it's just, yeah, it's just listening to yourself. You know, we know what we feel, but there's oftentimes we, you know, we try to, oh, okay, well, you know, it's just a dream, but this is reality. Well, that can be your reality, but you have to figure out, well, what is it that I need to do to make it my reality, which brings me to, you know, some of the workshops that I'm trying to start working on. You know, Mm -hmm. it's I was looking for, you know, um, conferences or seminars or something in my area where it could help me to get to the next level. And when I couldn't find it, I decided to create it myself. Mm, mm, I love that. I love that. And I think so many times we lose sight of creativity and, and we have the excuse, which I, um, you know, I don't, I definitely don't, uh, I'm not a fan of excuses, but I think we use the excuses oh, we didn't see it or no one offers it or I couldn't find it, you know, instead of creating it. And right. that's the way about jobs. You know, a lot of times people are complaining that they can't find a job. Well, have you thought maybe you should create one, you know? so Absolutely. I'm <laughs> I am with you. You are Absolutely. a like-minded <laughs> Miss Millionaire Mindset. <laughs> So, you know, I really commend you on everything that you're doing. Um, please, uh, ladies and gents, be on the lookout of for Damara Altman. She is an entrepreneur on the rise. And you heard it here, hopefully first. But listen, you watch out for her. Uh, Damara, please give people your contact information, um, your website, how to get in contact with you. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll turn it over to you so you can give them information. And then also, let's close out with some advice that you would give to people who are trying to uh, start their own business. Uh, I'll turn it over to you. Go ahead. Okay. So um, I can be contacted. My email is embellishedbydamara at gmail.com. And my website is www.embellishedbydamara.com. And um, as far as advice, I would I would honestly say the first thing to start with is listening to yourself. We know what we how we feel. We know what we want. We know our desires, and write it down. Um, I think a visual representation helps as well because I think it, it it makes you responsible. Now, you know you can sit and you can think and you can just dismiss it as a daydream. But once you write it down. Um, I believe the word says write the vision and make it plain. Once you write it down, you know, you are now accountable and responsible for that. So that's my advice. Fabulous advice. Fabulous advice. All right, so there you have it. Miss Millionaire Mindset, Woman of the Month, Miss Damara Altman, which is a 
which is a fabulous uh, woman on the rise, definitely an entrepreneur. Uh, definitely check her out. I support her and endorse her. All right. Have a fabulous day, and I'll see you next month with the next Women of the Month for Miss Millionaire Mindset. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye.